What up, peeps? Welcome back to today's vlog. I'm feeling a little bit better, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, <clears throat> not fully better yet, but the full body aches I had yesterday are gone. The headache I had is gone. My sore throat is mostly gone. I can still feel it a little bit, but uh, two days ago, it was really, really bad. Like, swallowing forks is what I told Abby it felt like. Um, or like swallowing a cheese grater or something. That's mostly gone. I'm still a little bit congested, as you can tell. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So, other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. So, I'm at the outlet. There's the little shopping cart return thing. I'm about to head in, and I'm actually here about an hour or an hour and a half earlier than I have normally been getting here recently. So I have some extra time. Hopefully that means we find a ton of stuff. So let's get in there and see what we have. found something new at the outlet. A new scratch on my arm from a broken coat hanger. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it was bleeding a little bit. I was hoping that being here a little bit longer would mean more and or better stuff. It kind of didn't, but I also am not staying super late because Abby was already at the store and she texted me and she's like, I feel like crap, I think I need to go home. So I'm going to the store. She's kind of feeling like I was yesterday, which is not good. But since I'm feeling better already, hopefully, you know, by Thursday when we, because today is our, today's our Friday. So by the time we open on Thursday, hopefully she's better again. But here's what I got today. Got this uh, Kettle One vodka bag. There's a few sold for like 20 to 30. Got this lightsaber. It's one of the ones that does not collapse. So it's not going to be fun to ship, but hopefully it works. It's about 40, 50 bucks. And then, I mean, that's kind of it. I just got like a bunch of toys. I got a Pokemon first movie soundtrack, Detective Pikachu Blu-ray, a couple other DVDs for Amazon, and a couple Disney Infinity figures, a couple Legos. Got this Starbucks Colorado cup, which is like 20 bucks. There's not too much, honestly, um, just a lot of dollar toys. Hopefully a couple toys that are worth selling individually as well. I found some like, like this. Some sort of transformer or Power Ranger thing. I'm not really sure what it is. It doesn't have a date. It just says LJN. So I can use the Google lens to figure out what it is. And uh, there's, but there's a couple things like that in there. So hopefully they're worth more than just a dollar, but overall not too bad. Hi, Abby. Hi. You don't feel good? No. Why not? Because mm. you got me sick. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. My nephews did. Okay, but you were coughing right in your face. I and I did blow bubbles off of the same bubble blower thingy, and I ate. The You're same terrible. <laughs> well, what do you do when oh, that precious little angel hands you just a little bit of food? Because I didn't I, eat it, I and ate. I didn't blow off the bubble thing either. <laughs> My body held out until you were ready to come back to work, so I could be home soon. But Unless, you're not. No, I'm not. I got here like. A couple hours ago and you're still not gone yeah so <coughs> kyle um is missing a little bit of today he's coming in later and i was trying to hold off for him i'm feeling okay <clears throat> i messed up and everything 
And I, let, I asked everybody if it was okay that I stayed until Kyle said, and he said, he said, yeah. Okay. And then I, I texted your sister, and I was just like, we got sick. And she's like, me too. And then um, I sent her a meme that was like a frog drinking a juice box that said dumb juice. And it's like us thinking that we would get sick even though we were around two boys that were sick. And she's like, yes. I hate it. Yeah, me too. Bye. Bye. So we have this copy of Ocarina of Time that didn't have, well, it had a fake label. So I peeled it off and I made a new label. So, if you buy a poor condition copy of this, you might get lucky and get this one. Do you like it, Ryan? I love it. Did you steal fan art to make that label? Let's see if Colton likes it. I put my own twist on it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's signed, so you know it's high quality. Yeah. He stole artwork and then signed it. He <laughs> took credit for it. It was stolen to begin with because it's Legend of Zelda. True, but it is still fan art, so... Everybody's gonna be real mad. I drew it. Mm -hmm. I didn't trace it. I freehanded that. <laughs> I know it's hard to tell, but. <laughs> All right, we're tooting our own horn today. What do you think about our new custom Legend of Zelda label? You did this? Yeah, it you like it? It looks just like Zeldor. Yeah. I love him. Who's buying it? One lucky peep. Lucky peep. It could be you. I even signed it. Right there. Right there. You see that? So, like... Hand drawn. If someone, someone were to order it on the website and they wanted this one, how would they get it? I would say we can't guarantee that because what if two people do it? That's fair. And then, I mean, I guess... The, the first person to ask would be the one to get it, but then mm -hmm. it would suck for the other people if they only ordered it because they wanted that. Right, and then what do we do? Refund a bunch of Ocarina of Times? Right, so let's just say, only buy this game if you want the game. There's a chance you could get this one if you buy one in poor condition, but even if you ask, we can't guarantee because there's only one. Yeah. What you working on? Um. Well, we got our Xbox controller traded in today, and... Uh... Oh. It looks a little bad. I tried cleaning it, but those white specks of something is uh, not coming off. It's a, a paint, yeah. Yeah, paint. Um, so I went and grabbed a busted controller from the back and swapped the front of it, so it looks nice. And, uh, Beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be bundled, bundled with the console. Awesome. I like your Pizza Planet shirt. There we go. Is that Kyle? No way. <gasps> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where you where you been? I think we have weird parents <laughs> sleeping at home. Because my wife went to the ER last night. You don't have to talk about that if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, it's I'm just saying like um nothing serious, she's fine, but I didn't sleep because my son kept waking up because he's used to sleeping with her and not with me. And so every like hour he would just wake up and start screaming. And so I didn't get any sleep and my wife was in the ER so she didn't get any sleep. So she got home and I was like, Abby, can I just sleep, please? Because <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. And my wife, she also had to call in because she was in the ER later than when she would have had, like, uh, had to go into work. So. Mm. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, yes. same. Me too. But I'm just very tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our Friday, so <laughs> yeah. you can sleep for the next two days. <laughs> Yay! Ariel wants to play more Minecraft, though. So, you want to play? Yeah. You want to play more? I'm busy. I have breath of the wild. I'm almost done. We're so close. Almost done again. Yeah. For the second time. <laughs> but Master Yeah. I've been playing Advance Wars. It's so fun. I'm on the final battle of the first game, and it's so difficult. Dang. Dang. It's, it says final battle, but then the percentage is like 65 or 68% or something. So I w at first I thought the percentage was just how far I was through the game, but I think it's now completion. it's like, yeah. Because you get a rank for every 
every battle. Are there so, like side missions and stuff that you've been doing? No. No? Oh. There, it's pretty linear. There's been a couple options where I can pick one of three battles to do. I thought that I had to do all three of them, but I did one and then the other two disappear. Oh. So it's like you pick the character that you want to use for that battle. But I haven't seen any other like side things to do. There's other modes. There's like, you know, multiplayer and stuff, but it's pretty fun. No, Cooper's going to be in a strategy RPG. He's going to play Fire Emblem. He's going to have fun with those. And we'll see. <laughs> so at the outlet earlier, I found this little display stand, which looks just like that one we already had in here. And it had like a little slip cover on. I thought that it was only one, but the whole thing sl slid over. So it was double wide. So we got it put in here for the little Pokemon finger puppets. And it looks awesome. I love it. What's up, guys? We're showing off some stuff we got from Japan. So there's quite a bit here. Lots of really, really cool stuff. These are all boxed N64 games that Cooper has taken the baggies out of. So. <laughs> hey, some of them didn't happen. <laughs> Only most of them did. Yeah. Um, some of these are Japan exclusive, and obviously you can recognize the ones that aren't, like Kirby and Mario Golf. But lots of cool stuff here. Sorry, the glare is kind of in the way for these ones, but there's an Ogre Battle 64 if you don't want to pay the $150 that it is in the US. But we got a little Pikachu link cable, this uh, Mario Kart 64. I don't know what this one is. It was like Kid Dracula, Dracula. that's what it is. A little Pac-Man versus GameCube demo or something? I'm not sure. This came in a DS game. Yeah, which so, it's not supposed to be in there, but yeah. it was in there. It's a Club Nintendo thing, but yeah, it was just inside one of the Tingle games. Maybe like, it is supposed to be in there. Yeah, who knows? Why would Anyways. they put a GameCube disc in a DS game, though? That's super weird. Yeah. Anyways, we got a Tingle game. We had two, but Colton took one of them. <laughs> uh, game & Watch Collection. We got some more Link Cables here. Bunch of Final Fantasy characters. We only got characters from eight and nine, it looks like. There's Quina, Princess Garnet, Freya, Chocobo, and I don't know most of these Final Fantasy eight characters because I didn't really play the game. Oh, Ariel's coming out. We've got Selfie, Quistus, uh, blah, 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 uh, <laughs> Irvine, um, Renoa, <laughs> Zell, and Squall, or Leon. <laughs> okay, and then these are also Squall's things. Safer, that's his name, Safer. Okay. Is one of them named Selfie? Yeah. Yes. Her name is Selfie. <laughs> then, Colton's here as well. I just blinked instead of blinked. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are um, blind boxes for Final Fantasy 13. They have been open on the outside, but everything inside is sealed. So we were thinking about just like sticker sealing them so that customers can't like go through them and then just sell them as the blind boxes. But they're just like little figures that you put together. They have little stands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's pretty cool. I forget the names. I also didn't play 13 yet, so I <laughs> There's can't. a bunch. There's not just two. There's, uh, yeah, there's six total. There's six of them. But we also got these Mario and Luigi Motion Plus controllers, Wiimotes, a a uh, Wii Pro controller and a boxed Emerald GameCube controller. That's really awesome. Some 64DD games, Mario Artist and Doshin the Giant. Then we also have a transfer pack and a boxed pocket station. Colton didn't know what this was. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's like, <laughs> I'm not like, out. I'm not just trying to call him out. Like <laughs> what? Um, but if you don't know what this is, it's basically a Japan only accessory for the PS1 that allowed like extra things in certain games. Not every game like supported it, but so I know at least like one Final Fantasy game can like do stuff with it, but not in the US. And then down here is all the controllers and like duplicates of stuff that I already just showed. But the coolest stuff is stuff that Cooper and I got <laughs> that you guys can't have. <laughs> um, so this, this side's mine. This is Dragon Quest uh, PS2 slime controller. Apparently this one did come out in the US, but this is sealed and Cooper already has the American one, so he doesn't need that one. And then this is the Final, F or sorry, not Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest X offline Switch version, which I don't think they're ever gonna localize and bring out to the US, so I wanted this. And then Cooper got the Japan exclusive silver PS2 slime controller from Dragon Quest, along with this 35th anniversary pin and this Mario Party Donkey Kong figure. That's pretty cool. Kind of ugly, but still cool. He's adorable. <laughs> I love him. But that's the stuff we got from Japan. It is trade time with Kyle again. 
Let's take a look here. We got some 3DS games. Looks like some of these are sealed. Yoshi's Woolly World, Star Fox 64 3D, Chibi Robo Ziplash, Mario Kart 7, uh, Pokemon Rumble Blast and Hey Pikmin, and Lego the Movie the Video Game. We got a couple GameCube games here. Avatar The Last Airbender, Lord of the Rings. We got a really cool Minecraft controller. Sticks aren't in perfect condition, but they're still decent. Better than a lot that come in here, but we rarely, rarely see this one. I think that's the one that was bundled with the console. Got some Vita stuff, which is pretty cool. Always good to see that. I have more 3DS that I didn't see before. Project X Zone, getting pretty expensive. Resident Evil and Theatrhythm, both the original and Curtain Call. We also got Mario Sports, Superstars, and some DS stuff. Metroid Prime Pinball, Polarium, Radiant Historia, which if you want to play the definitive version, play the 3DS one because that's just the better version. Really, really good game. Every time I see it, I bring that up. You should try it out. Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Almia, Picross DS. If you guys didn't know, Ryan is, is obsessed with Picross and he has like every Picross game ever. Got Professor Layton, really, really good puzzle game by level five, I think. You guys should check that out. Got some PS1 games here. Tekken, Soul Blade, which I think is the first Soul Calibur game, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong, but. I mean, you got Tekken 2 and 3. We also have some Switch games here and some handheld consoles, an SP and the Galaxy th new 3DS XL. Got Xenoblade Chronicles 3, AI The Somnium Files Day 1 Edition, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Got Not For Resale Sonic. I already showed that. World War II Aces and Trinity Trigger we just got in. Unfortunately, we don't have any more Switch versions because I bought the last one, but we have the PS4 and PS5 uh, games. This is the day one edition of Trinity Trigger. We have the special edition for Bioshock 2, which is huge. Pretty cool. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but the original Bioshock I think was Xbox 360 ex exclusive. So I don't know why they changed their mind, decided to just not do that or why they made it exclusive in the first place, but anyways. We've got some cheaper titles here. We've been getting a lot of requests for the Ratchet and Clank games recently for some reason. I'm, I'm assuming they're pretty good since, you know, everybody wants them, but I've never played them. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the Ratchet and Clank series. Got some cheaper Xbox and 360 titles. Those Burnout games are also really, really fun. I've played a few of them. Got some other games here. Got, what is that? I can't even see what that is. I still can't see what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you know what that is, let me know. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yoshi. I think that's Yoshi's Cookie, but for the Game Boy. Mortal Kombat Deception. Barbie Horse Adventures. Very, very fun. I'm just kidding. I don't know what that is. <laughs> We got Fable Anniversary Disc Only. I think it's quite a bit more expensive if it is complete. We got two Wonderswan games, the Digimon, yeah, two different Digimon games. Could not tell you anything about those. Then we have Splinter Cell. Um, not sure which one this is. Double Agent. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Trilogy. I didn't know that was a thing. Cold Sept Saga. I don't know if that's related to Cold Sept Revolt on the 3DS, but it might be. We got Bullet Witch, uncommon game there. And the Halo 3 Special Edition. Then we got a bunch of N64 games. One of the heavy, heaviest hitters on the N64, Worms Armageddon, Rampage. This beautiful uh, Cooper, Cooper Bates design of Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> uh, Diddy Kong Racing, Super Mario 64, Kirby and the Crystal Shards, Vigilante. I was thinking about picking that one up, but I'm buying too much stuff right now, so I can't. Top Gear Overdrive, Smash Bros, and Quest 64. And then I guess that came in today too. But that's it for now. Hi, Jess. Hello. Ryan, what are you doing? Uh, more stuff. What's this for? Uh, stuff. Where's it gonna go? We're, we're gonna replace these ugly ones that are Mitch Matchy. We're gonna have nice, nice, clean ones. Who's Mitch Matchy? You know, that, that one dude. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Question of the day. What's your favorite cartoon laugh? 
I have a soft spot for Goofy's laugh. Now demonstrate. No. <laughs> That's part of the question. <laughs> the hook? <laughs> or something. <laughs> Goofy's French. <laughs> Shut up! That was Baguette Goofy. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> uh, mine is Courage the Cowardly Dog. I like his laugh, and I cannot do it. So Jesse didn't put the laugh here. Yeah. Is it... <laughs> now, now try it, since they uh, heard the real one. Um, Isn't it like... <laughs> no, it's like... <laughs> I don't even want to do it. <laughs> it's like embarrassing. Well, if I had to embarrass myself. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> you know, like, I don't even know what the original sound like. I can't do yeah. it. I can't do it. But that kind of sounded like it. Yeah. So mine is Mandarks from Dexter's Lab. Because he's like, ha <laughs> Big fan of Scooby Doo's. Where he's like, <laughs> Because um, I always associate, there's a picture on the internet of a Winnie the Pooh, like, flesh, and, and... Right here? Oh, yeah, right here. I was like, what are you moving the camera away from me? There's a picture of Winnie the Pooh plush, and he's got, like, a, a human mouth. And I just always think that Winnie the Pooh, if that Winnie the Pooh laughed, it would be like... <laughs> I'm sorry. So a laugh I really like is James from Pokemon, and I am not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Something like yeah, that. Like magic heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of one. I was gonna pick SpongeBob, but then I wanted to pick Patrick instead. Because you don't want to do SpongeBob's laugh, you coward. You have to do both now. He goes, yeah. Dah! <laughs> nice. And Patrick goes, Ooh! <laughs> 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 How does it feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? Still working fast food, Squiddy. Still working cash register, Squiddy. Squiddy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>